Hello everybody, Dry Shop Drew here, how are you all doing today? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood today, so we decided we were going to take a walk and uh, get a little bit of filament for you. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, it looks like I might have a parcel delivery over at my place there, guys. Yeah. So on the way back, we'll find out. I see a Upas truck. So, possible, possible, possible parcel delivery there. Pretty sure that's out by my house. But. Anyways, guys. Like I say, we're going to take a walk today. We're going to bring you guys along for the ride. It's going to be a bit bouncy because I don't have a gimbal or nothing like that. I'm just holding the camera. So. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to take this trail here down to the river, and we're going to walk along the river for a while. So, just figured I'd bring you guys along for the walk. You may enjoy it. <laughs> Hard to say for sure. So, but, anyways guys, once we get down on the river here and get a little ways in, we'll do a little bit more footage for you, I guess. Because walking like this, it's kind of shaky, and I don't want to get you guys all dizzy for no reason. So. Well, as you guys can see, it looks like I come pretty much to the end here because if you look just ahead there, you can see it's all melting. So I'm not going to take any chances of walking on the ice any farther than I am because already where I am walking right here, it's starting to crack. So I guess that's a good sign of spring, guys. The river's starting to let go and melt, but I figured I'd show you this, bring it up to here anyway. So as far as I'm going to go. I was going to go around the corner there and show you the bridge and stuff, but I think I'm going to turn around here. It's about about a mile, I guess, roughly, I walked. And then behind me on this side, all along the top there, there's all kind of cross-country ski trails. I don't know if you guys could see the little trail there, but anyways, uh, we're going to head back. And I already walked a little ways on this wet ice, but it's starting to crack. You can hear it there as I'm walking starting to crack so time to turn around and go back the other way <laughs> but yeah that's one thing this river sure has a lot of curves in it it's probably about every two three hundred yards it curves another different direction so it makes her a nice walk whoops slippery here boy it's like glare ice <laughs> and i'm just wearing sneakers so kind of slippery but yeah it's a gorgeous day out here today i'll tell you I haven't seen anything really of interest, guys. I just figured I'd take you for a walk and show you what we do see. But you can see, uh, I just ran across a guy that was riding a pedal bike there, and he said last week he came and he sunk through here, and I see his trail that he's talking about now, and that was on a like a big wheeled bike. So <laughs> he's having fun. Like he said, probably in our couple of days, and we won't be able to walk down the river. So I guess I caught it at a good time, but. Just figured I'd give you guys some insight here on where I am and what I'm doing. So, get my little bit of exercise in here and make myself feel better. <laughs> but yeah, it's a beautiful day today. I think it's like 35 above zero Fahrenheit. So, beautiful day. No you know, no need for, for mitts or toque or anything like that. I mean, it's pretty much t-shirt weather. So... <laughs> Yeah, she's melting. Everything's starting to melt now. So, anyways, guys, I'll show you something up ahead there, and then we'll head back. Okay, guys, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, I like the way you put duck to enter over top of the hole. 
a birdhouse on a stand in the middle of the river and there's nothing else there so I guess he likes to watch his birds from his house or whatever so it's actually neat <laughs> it was nice one to put that up for them but anyways I figured I'd show you guys that as well so we'll continue and there's another birdhouse in the tree so there you go let's go I guess this guy has put it out for the wildlife really nice of him really nice of him but Anyway, I see a dog and some people coming up ahead on me, so I'm going to let you guys go. Okay, guys, I guess this concludes the walk. So, I guess that's all for today. Just thought I'd take this walk down here. It's got the little path to go up to the top there, and then back to the house. So, this is where I go up. So, a little bit of a walk, guys. Not much to show, but it gave you something to do. And a reason to make a video for you. <laughs> so... And yes, that's the city streets culvert that dumps into the river. That's just the culverts themselves. So, they usually put this big screen here on it at the end of the year. So no, no garbage gets into the river. But yeah, it's the culvert. Runs underneath the city streets and drains out into the river here. So, it's what it is. So, okay guys. I guess for now I'm going to let you go. It's going to get pretty bumpy climbing up this hill and stuff. So, we'll let you go for now and we'll talk to you all later. Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Yep, another mail call. We got two of them today. First one we're gonna do is from Wayne Jewell. And basically he sent me, uh, we'll start with the note. It says, hey Drew, Wayne Jewell here. Just some stickers from a Gulf Coast Conservation Association. They help the environment and hold a huge fishing tournament every year. Catch a tagged red fish and win a boat. Best regards, Wayne. A small gift as well. So that's the note that he sent me with it. And then he sent me to join the CCA, Coastal Conservation Association. And the same thing on there, a different size on those ones. So he sent me those. So I'll put the big fish up on the board for him there. And that'll be for, for Wayne. And then he also sent me Beautiful little keychain, guys. Check this out. Got my very own bass keychain. <laughs> there you go. Nice leather keychain with a bass on it. So there's another nice keepsake for me. So I thank you, Wayne. And we'll get you up on the Wall of Fame in a few minutes. So there you go. And the other one I got is from Hunting with Hathaway. So, and he's in the heart of Dixie in Alabama. And he sent me the letter here. It says Drew, hey man, I finally remembered to send out these tags. I've been holding on for you. It's just kept slipping my mind. Better late than never, I guess, eh? Lots of laughs. Take care, my man, from the deep south halfway. And he sent me. Some beautiful Alabama plates. So you can see the first one there. And right on the top, it's a heart of Dixie. So there you go, sweet home Alabama. There you go. There's the second one. And there's the third one. And as always, I always put the date and the address and who I got it from so I know where it comes from. So check out Hunting with Hathaway. Him and his daughter do some really good hunting shows, you guys. I think you guys should check this out. And I'll tell you, I enjoy everyone's channels. So I'm going to put these up and we'll go from there, guys. So we'll talk to you in a bit. Alrighty then. That's for hunting with Hathaway. There's the three plates you sent me. They are now in their new home. Along with all the other plates that I got from all the other tubers as long as we go along. From all the different states almost. So, looking good guys, flags and everything, the Wall of Fame.
Welcome to the Wall of Fame, Hunting with Holloway. And for Wayne Jewell, there's your fish. Join CCA. That's for Wayne Jewell. You're now up on the board as well. So you guys, keep them coming. I love you all, my YouTube family. This wall is looking mighty fine, mighty fine. And then we also have some plates over there. So we are definitely growing. And we also have a few more stickers over here in this corner. With some more flags over there in that corner. So keep them coming, guys. I love all I love you all. And I still got all that wall space there that needs to be filled in. And I'm like I say, if worse comes worse, we can always use the roof. <laughs> well, right now I got the camper shell up on the roof, as you guys can see, but you know, have to have a place to put it for now because I need to haul some stuff. So but anyways, uh yeah, looking good, guys. Appreciate it. I really do. Every in the every last gift that's sent to me, there's much appreciation behind it. So thank you all for now, and we'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget, leave a comment, thumbs me up, and share my videos. And when I come to your channel, I will do the same for you. Love you all, my YouTube family. Catch y'all later. Bye.